good morning YouTube all right guys it is Wednesday morning here at the New Hampshire Motor Speedway um, we're gonna cross our fingers and chant and pray or whatever we got to do to get a good sales day today we definitely need it to improve definitely need it to improve you know and I'll say it again early in this video don't fall for the scammers you know there's somebody out there trying to mislead you into believing that I am sending you a message on YouTube and it is not me I will not send you anything like that saying that you won if you win something from me I'm gonna make a video we're gonna post it everybody's gonna know that you won not just you and when I was looking through the comments last night before I bed, well early this morning before I went to bed uh, I noticed that at one point there's even a reply someone trying to you know entice somebody to, to verify that the whole thing was real don't trust it just don't trust it guys use some common sense uh, it's not even my name on there I, I know that they stole my logo but it's not even my name it's some text plus thing or whatever it's pretty obvious that it's not me so just ignore it it's been reported I've been deleting them but uh, they just keep popping up I can't keep up with them you know, I think there might even be some type of smart algorithm behind their debauchery because I'm kind of seeing that it's only popping up on people who put the word giveaway or win or drone in their comment. It's not coming up to everybody. Lily, it's just another dog. Don't bark at him. You're a little dog. It's a big dog. Don't even try it. She thinks she's so big. Guys, just so you know, she's barking. There you go, at the Doberman. Well, there's a little dog over there too. But anyway, guys, in a nutshell, just don't fall for it. Just don't fall for it. Now we're gonna get over here and get this place opened up. I know that one customer was supposed to be bringing their truck for us to do today. Um, I don't see the truck in the parking lot anywhere, so maybe they're late, I don't know. Looks like Todd from Heroic is running out to the store or something. Trying to get that big truck out of here. Now, now she wants to try to front for another big dog. I miss the Larry. No. You be nice. Look at this, guys. She's ballsy at least. guys Joey found the customer's truck we've got the oil drained out of it and uh, gonna change out the filter here in just a moment and top her back off <laughs> what are you doing doing well guys as you can see there are plenty of motorcycles here but uh, look down the aisles, nobody walking around. Uh, we've serviced two motorcycles and of course that Ford pickup truck. We actually have one more Ford pickup truck that we have to service as well, but it's the vendor right here, the cigar guy. And, uh, oh sorry, he waved, you guys didn't see it. Wave again. So uh, yeah, we're gonna change the oil in his truck in a little bit here as well, but not much else going on here today. So there's plenty of bikes here. They must all be out doing demo rides or, uh, We'll go against stereos or something.
doors open and sign up in there. Yeah. Alright guys, it looks like we're getting a little bit of a line. It may be time to pull the golf cart off the lift so we can use it. I'm surprised it took four days, but uh, it's about that time. We just had stuff on, but uh, I just took that bike off of that lift. We still got one more in line. guys another rotation on the list we did a supreme oil change on this beautiful CBL love that color and then this one here too friends that came in decided to do both bikes at the same time and over here we have gorilla's bike those of you guys that know gorilla he works for sounds and uh, got a flat tire so guess what we're doing another tire at bike week again do not bring me your bike for tires guys it is about five o'clock and typical like usual you see uh places uh, thinning out some now we did get a rush so that's probably one of the reasons i didn't get a whole lot of recording them throughout the day um there was a point where we had like four or five bikes in line and it would but it lasted for a whole 10 minutes or so all in all still a pretty slow day but better than the rest i think i haven't actually looked at the numbers but um i'm 100 confident it was the best day of the week so far
right guys, 10 minutes early again, and we are shutting it down. So yeah, it's about 10 till six. The place is pretty much a ghost town again, and I'm just tired of hearing it run all day long. It's amazing how quiet it gets when you actually turn it off. Alright guys, Chip is trying to finish up the last bike of the evening. We did a full oil change supreme service on it and then the customer decided he wanted some love jugs. So working a little bit late to get it done, but we're almost there. It is a frame mount kit installation, so it does take a little bit longer. And Joey's just making sure that the tent doesn't fall over. All right, guys, while Chip is finishing that up, I want to say something real quick. Apparently, about an hour and a half ago, somebody had left a comment on uh, one of the videos. I haven't seen it yet. My daughter actually called me to tell me because I don't get a chance to go through comments when we're working. But apparently, this person, and I don't know who you are or whether you see this, said that uh, I guess he was really disappointed because I wouldn't make eye contact with him. And, and I wouldn't acknowledge that he was here and he was disappointed because he thought I was a stand-up guy. Well, whoever you are, I apologize that I didn't notice you. So you obviously didn't come up and say anything to me because I would have never, ever shunned anybody. So I apologize that uh, that you felt that way, but I don't know whether you stood way off in the distance and tried to make eye contact with me, but if you walked up and said, hey, I watch your channel and shook my hand, we would have probably had a pretty good conversation. So try that next time instead of whatever it was that you actually did. I don't even know. You know, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of people that can vouch for me that have come by and said hi and stopped and talked to us. We've had conversations with. I am uh, I'm not a not looky in the eye kind of guy. And, uh, and I've never, ever shown anybody. So, you know what, to combat this gentleman's comment, and I don't want to say anything bad about the guy, I just, I, I don't know what happened or, or whatever. But, uh, so if you did come by and meet me, and you enjoyed having a conversation with me and everything went well, leave a comment about that. Especially if you can find his comment, reply to his comment of what your feelings were when you guys actually met me. And go. Yeah guys, it was that good. We're coming back. We're at Arrow Diner. So, just happened to see this uh, this BMW RS and reminded me that earlier today I actually went over and was signing up to ride one of the BMW demo motorcycles, but I forgot my driver's license. So I ran back over to our setup to grab my license and that's when we got busy and everybody showed up and then it took me, well, until about five o'clock to get caught up. And by then they weren't doing demos, so I didn't get to ride it. Maybe we'll try again or maybe we'll be lucky enough it'll be too damn busy and I won't be able to. guys we had another great meal there at the red arrow diner and uh we're back home now well back home back at the speedway letting lily walk around do her final business of the evening it's already like 11 30 at night you know today was a little bit busier but not great but it and i did confirm after that last segment that uh it was the best sales day we've had at this rally this week. It still wasn't an oh my God good day, but it was a decent day. 
Um, you know, it's it's the day that every day this week should have been. And had they been, we'd be in a much better spot than we are. But we have exceeded last year's sales at least. Remember, last year was actually 2019, the last time we were here. So even though we're not doing good, we're doing better. So I'm going to take what I can get. Wow, guys, that is a really beautiful moon up there in the sky. You know, on the camera lens, it's showing a lot of glare that I'm not getting in real life. So camera just doesn't do it justice. But anyway, guys, that is going to end this video. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you remember, we're doing a 10,000 subscriber giveaway. We will be giving away some of the love jugs when we hit that 10,000 subscriber mark. And uh, we're also going to be giving away that drone uh, at the end of this week. You know, and I actually meant to pull the drone out today and do a little bit of footage of it so people can see what they're getting, and I forgot. So uh, maybe we'll do that tomorrow, unless we're lucky enough it's so busy that I don't have time to do it tomorrow. But other than that, I'm going to go edit this video, get Lily put to bed, and I'm going to go to bed. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and until the next time I see you, you guys keep those engines running.